myself aws azure and oracle certified professional and microsoft certified trainer many associates not only passed by following these videos they have passed with above 90% score if you have missed osi foundation question series videos or oracle autonomous database specialty exam question series videos i highly recommend you to please watch those videos to encourage you for the free certification we have started a giveaway where you can participate for free and win exciting rewards while preparing for the certification exam don't miss to click the i button at the top right corner to know the steps links available in the video description as well if you are new to this channel please subscribe and press the bell icon now let's start question 1 for flat admins to access dedicated exata infrastructure which policy should be assigned and the options are a allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to dw b allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy c allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database family in tenancy and d allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to oltp the cloud exata infrastructure resource type needed to provision autonomous database on dedicated exata infrastructure is covered by the aggregate resource type database family the resource family covered by autonomous database family can be used to grant access to database resources associated with all the autonomous database workload types option a allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to dw this is incorrect this has to be autonomous database family not autonomous database so incorrect choice option b allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy same as option a this has to be autonomous database family not autonomous database so this is also incorrect option c allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database family in tenancy this is correct as per oci doc we have to allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database family in tenancy option d allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot work type equal to oltp this is also incorrect so the correct option for question 1 is option c question 2 your customer has upgraded their on premise 11.2 database to 12.2 during this migration the database was migrated to a pluggable database and is now in production how should the customer unplug their database to migrate to autonomous database and the options are a pluggable databases cannot be migrated to adb using plug unplug or clone b create a database link from the source database to the adb environment and clone the pdb c unplug to an xml file so database files and xml file can be uploaded to object storage and d unplug into pdb archive which can be uploaded to object storage now analyze the options option a pluggable databases cannot be migrated to adb using plug unplug or clone this is correct autonomous database only supports logical migration using data pump sql loader and golden gate so this is correct choice option b create a database link from the source database to the adb environment and clone the pdb you cannot unplug a pdb and plug it back to autonomous database moreover adb does not support remote cloning so this is incorrect option c unplug to an xml file so database files and xml file can be uploaded to object storage this is incorrect option d unplug into a pdb archive which can be uploaded to object storage this is also incorrect so the correct answer for question 2 is option a question 3 which statement is not correct when using automatic indexing on autonomous data warehouse and the options are a process includes identify candidates create invisible auto indexes verify with implement if performance improved and delete unused b you can control behavior at the statement level using the use auto indexes or no use auto indexes hints c you can use the dbms auto index package to report the automatic tasks and to set your preferences and d it is enabled by default now analyze the options option a process includes identify candidates create invisible auto indexes verify with implement if performance improved and delete unused this is true for automatic indexing for autonomous data warehouse 
but the question asked to select which is not true hence this is incorrect choice option b you can control behavior at the statement level using the use auto indexes or no use auto indexes hints you can use hints to control if auto indexes will be used for a sql statements the use auto indexes hints instruct the optimizer to use auto indexes whereas no use auto indexes hints instruct the optimizer not to use auto indexes so option b is true hence incorrect option c you can use the dbms auto index package to report on the automatic task and to set your preferences use the dbms auto index package to report on the automatic task and to set automatic indexing preferences so option c is also true hence incorrect choice option d it is enabled by default auto indexing is disabled by default in autonomous database so option d is false statement hence correct choice so the correct option for question 3 is option d question 4 which three options are supported when migrating to autonomous databases and the options are a arman cross platform backup and restore b golden gate on premise installation c data pump export import d data guard physical standby and e golden gate cloud service now analyze the options option a arman cross platform backup and restore this is incorrect with arman cross platform backup and restore you won't be able to migrate to autonomous database so this is incorrect option b golden get on premise installation to deliver data to oracle autonomous data warehouse cloud using oracle golden get cloud service perform following tasks first configure oracle autonomous data warehouse cloud for replication then obtain oracle autonomous data warehouse cloud client credential file and next configure oracle golden get cloud service for replication and last configure oracle golden get manager and non integrated replicas to deliver data to oracle autonomous data warehouse cloud so option b is correct option c data pump export import with oracle data pump you can upload the source files from on premise to a cloud based object storage before loading the data into your autonomous database and the process is very simple first export the data from database to on premise storage then export the data from on premise storage to data pump files Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage in Oracle Cloud region. Then import the data into an Oracle Autonomous Database. And last, verify the data transfer with SQL Net. So option C, Data Pump Export Import is correct. Option D, Data Guard Physical Standby. No, this is incorrect. Option E, Golden Gate Cloud Service. Yes, this is true. We saw the detailed steps. So this is correct. So the correct options for question four are option B, C, and E. Question five: Which two are correct action to take in order to download the autonomous database credentials? And the options are A: Click the compute section of the menu, then choose instance configuration, and then download wallet. B: Find the service console for your autonomous database, then pick administration, then download the client credentials. C click on the object storage and find your autonomous bucket and download the wallet credentials D click on the autonomous data warehouse section pick a database then choose action then download the wallet and E click on the autonomous data warehouse in the menu click a database name then choose db connection button then download the wallet there are two ways you can download wallet first from oci console Navigate to the autonomous database details page then click db connection and then choose wallet type and click download wallet the other method is from service console from the service console click the administration link and then click download client credential option a click the compute section of the menu then choose instance configuration and then download wallet you can't download wallet from compute section of the menu so this is incorrect Option B find the service console for your autonomous database then pick administration and then download client credential this is the alternate second method we just discussed so this is correct option C click on the object storage and find your autonomous bucket and download the wallet credentials 
from object storage you won't be able to download wallet credential so this is also incorrect option d click on the autonomous data warehouse section pick a database then choose action then download the wallet this is also incorrect option e click on the autonomous data warehouse in the menu click a database name then choose db connection button then download the wallet this is correct this is the first method we discussed so this is correct choice so the correct options for question 5 are option b and e question 6 which three optimization techniques are different in autonomous data warehouse and autonomous transaction processing and the options are a backup retention b index storage c data organization d memory usage and e undo management These are the basic difference between ADW and ATP. The basic difference is how data is organized. For ADW, data is organized in columnar format, whereas in ATP, this is row format. ADW is used for data summary, whereas ATP is used for indexes. Another important difference is on memory management. ADW allow parallel joins and complex aggregation to occur in memory, but in case of ATP, memory used for caching. With this analysis, let's choose correct answers. Option A: Backup retention. There is no difference for backup retention in ADW and ATP. Hence, incorrect choice. Option B: Index storage. This is true. ADW is used for data summary, whereas ATP is used for indexes. So, this is correct. Option C: Data organization. This is definitely true. ADW is columnar, whereas ATP is row wise. So option C is also correct. Option D memory usage. This is also true. ADW allow parallel joins and complex aggregation to occur in memory, whereas ATP is used for memory for caching. So this is correct choice. Option E undo management. No, this is incorrect. So correct options for question six are option B, C, and D. Question seven. To whom and in which order? Are dedicated external data infrastructure resources provisioned, and the options are a freight administrator, autonomous external data infrastructure, then autonomous container DB, then database administrator, then autonomous DB. B freight administrator, first autonomous external data infrastructure, then database administrator, then autonomous container DB, then autonomous DB. C Database administrator, first autonomous container DB, then autonomous DB, then freight administrator, then autonomous external data infrastructure, and D database administrator, autonomous external data infrastructure, then freight administrator, then autonomous container DB, and then autonomous DB. This is the workflow for administrating dedicated autonomous database. The steps are first determine and institute user access constraints. Next, create core infrastructure resources. Then, create autonomous container database resources. And last, create autonomous databases. This question has two part. One is the state. Another is who will perform. So, this is responsibility of freight administrator. So, we can easily mark option C and D as incorrect. Now, we have to choose between option A and B. Option A, freight administrator. First, autonomous external data infrastructure, autonomous container DB, then database administrator, then autonomous DB. This matches more or less what we saw in the Oracle documentation. So this is correct. Option B, freight administrator, autonomous external data infrastructure, then database administrator, then autonomous container DB, and last autonomous DB. Steps are not in correct order. So this is incorrect. So the correct option for question seven is option A. Question eight: Which two statements are true when running DBMS Cloud dot copy data? And the options are A: The source file can be in either Oracle Standard Storage or Oracle Archive Storage bucket in Object Store. B: The source files can reside in Oracle Object Storage, Amazon S3 Object Storage, and Azure Blob Storage. C a valid credential must be created prior to running the dbms cloud dot copy data procedure D the source files will be automatically removed after the dbms cloud dot copy data procedure finish successfully 
and the the target table will be created in autonomous database if it does not already exists now analyze the options option is the source file can be in either oracle standard storage or oracle archive storage bucket in object store this is wrong it can't be in archive storage bucket from this documentation you can see the files has to be within oracle object storage classic not archive storage so option a is incorrect option b the source files can reside in oracle object storage amazon s3 object storage or azure blob storage this is true in this documentation you can see it can be in either oracle object storage classic or amazon s3 object storage or azure blob storage as well so option b is correct option c a valid credential must be created prior to running the dbms cloud dot copy data procedure this is true first you need to create valid credential you can go through this documentation if you want to know the steps so option c is also correct option d the source files will be automatically removed after the dbms cloud dot copy data procedure finishes successfully no source file won't be removed automatically hence incorrect choice option e the target table will be created in autonomous database if it does not already exists no you can see you have to create tables so option e is incorrect so the correct options for question 8 are option b and c question 9 while creating an autonomous container database on dedicated infrastructure through the oracle cloud infrastructure console which patch type is offered to be applied during maintenance and the options are a prior release update revision b prior release update c release update and the quarterly bundle patch you change the maintenance type of autonomous container database from its details page and the procedure is first go to details page of the autonomous container database whose maintenance type you want to change next click the edit link in the maintenance details field then on the edit automatic maintenance card select release update or release update revision from the maintenance type list and at last when finished click save changes so option a prior release update revision no this is incorrect it should be release update so incorrect choice option b prior release update this is also incorrect option c release update yes this is correct so option c is correct choice option d quarterly bundle patch this is also incorrect so the correct option for question 9 is option c question 10 which three security features are available in oracle autonomous database shared infrastructure and the options are a data reduction b database vault c audit vault d customer managed keys and d transparent data encryption now analyze the options option a data reduction no this is incorrect option b database vault oracle database vault comes pre configured and ready to use you can use it powerful security controls to restrict access to application data by privileged database user reducing the risk of threat and addressing common compliance requirements so this is correct option c audit vault no this is incorrect option d customer managed keys customer managed encryption is offered by oci vault key management service where customer controls and manage the keys that protect their data so option d is correct option e transparent data encryption data at rest is encrypted using tde transparent data encryption a cryptographic solution that protects the processing transmission and storage of data so this is correct so the correct options for question 10 are option b d and e